Last episode might be the only episode where it is... I support the marriage of this grown-ass man with the 12-year-old kid. She's, he's waiting until she's 16, okay? And you have to actually watch the episode to realize that he had to do it in order to save this girl because her parents are dead. She's like a... Yeah, the assassins are after her, okay? It's, 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 it's the only time where Law of Con Service actually meant something because of plot, okay? Important plot. Now, some of the other things that's happening right now, Tude is enacting this, you know, this order where you can arrest anybody. It's hostility fucking everywhere. Everything's getting, people's getting arrested. The cleaners are just a fucking joke. They actually have a broomstick because they're cleaning, but technically it's just weapon and they're just wearing fursuits and just, it's just an excuse to start shit up, right? And then brother uh, Diablo just kind of left the kingdom. I wonder if he's going to come back and actually be important to the plot, but it seems like he's kind of like benched on the side for now. And the most curious thing is Itami, and everyone else. They're off doing their own thing, looking for oil in the fucking... They've, they've gone on their own separate journey. What's happening right now in Arnis and, you know, the, the, the neutral zone or where the embassy is, like, shit is just... It's out of our control. So I wonder if we're gonna come back to resolve this shit? I don't know, but let's figure out what's gonna happen in today's episode. Oh, we're gonna actually see the fight? Yo, let's go, beef eater! The guard was sick. Dude, why is our I, no no no? There's nothing wrong with old dudes, but like, is the is these guards all just like the retirement squad? Why are they all so fucking old? It's just, it's interesting how the the army here. Let's go, boomers. Oh. <laughs> Okay. The guy on the left is the acting prime minister, right? Shirai Yuri is the, uh, the business suit woman in blue, right? That's with uh, Sugawara-sama? He is way too optimistic about this. Yes. Fuck them. Then people say we're just dominating them. Really? I thought it'd be so easy because we have modern warfare. But Japan really doesn't have the power right now to take over the empire? empire? Really? That's where politics are involved and we gotta be careful on how we act. So we gotta wait, and then we can go fuck shit up. That's not us we're hanging on to, it's the people over there that they have to hold on to. Exactly. This might be the downfall of Morita-san, and then this is where he gets in charge then after, maybe? My 12-year-old wife, be careful. Damn! Other people might despise Sugawara for, you know, getting married to a 12-year-old though. Shiri is actually insanely mature. Okay, so he doesn't regret marrying a 12-year-old. Nice, nice. So you watch it too then. So just watch people die instead. That's how you be honorable. Father-in-law now, okay. <laughs> Alright then. Kasala's family. Yo, these cleaners are fucking weak, bro. Did they get a single kill? No! Shit, he's still staring them down. Staring the corpses. Oh, we have an SDF hater here? Okay, so this guy is a military hater. Therefore, you're biased. Oh, it's that girl. She was a prisoner of war. Journalists are just all haters? I mean, there definitely is some PR moves here to make us look better, right? What he's saying is not objectively wrong. What, it's all subjective then? Trust whatever you want to trust. That's up to the people. Oh, sister! 
is a big sister of uh, Kuribaishi. Little sister. Big sister? Little sister? Little sister. Little sister, right? <laughs> Look, in any other show, I probably would like side with them because like, you know, your all your tax money is getting wasted on the cops. The cops are just fucking around and having people like him to expose them would be good. But in this show, the SDA looked like kind of hero. So now he just looks like a fucking professional hater. He just kind of looks like a loser. <laughs> Oh, I was right. I said guerrilla tactics. Is that what it's called? Last episode or something? He's military people. <laughs> okay. I thought these military officials were hyped at this cat girl. I thought they were like, holy shit, cat girls exist? But it's like, no, they were looking at the map. Tax her money. <laughs> Holy shit, look at the look in her eyes. Okay, and, and again, I'm, I'm still gonna say it. You know, this magician place, bro, but this is like a fucking dick. Triple balls and a shaft. Lele's still driving with the helmet on, so cute. There's something above there. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> oh, that's not good. Are they gonna throw shit at Lele when she's doing dissertation? Are they more assassins? He <laughs> tell me about to go. Brrr. These are the fucking gnomes. Remember? I remember them. They are like the best workers of this place. They were like our. I forget their exact role, but they worked at the the the, the hotel, some kind of living place we're living in. They they're like, yeah, these are our best workers. Go back to Santa. I guess that's not really Christmas yet, so they have some vacation. Bro. That's such a tiny little dagger. <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> she totally didn't close your eyes. She did not close her eyes. <laughs> oh, toss son. Toss Yep, dad. Yep. Yeah, they're the fucking workers. <laughs> Did the hotel enter? What, uh, the, the... No, the owner didn't even know. <laughs> there were fakes? <laughs> you just listened to that and you just believed all that shit? <laughs> yeah, and like try to kill with the knife? Nah, nah, fuck off with their heads, dude. Off with their heads. They were like, <laughs> oh great. They're like, oh yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 cut their heads off. Sorry! I don't give a fuck, you're trying to kill us! Maybe it's not one person, maybe it's multiple people. And the same person that was behind um, Lele's assassination almost, uh, the attempt, right? The crossbow coming guy, right? That guy was also convinced to do it, right? Victims? Fuck them, dude. You feel sorry. Okay, okay. Protect this Zen and his customers by trying to kill the customers. Okay. No. It's up to me. You're, you're going with their two for protecting them. Off with their heads, bro. Fucking slice to cleave them right now. No second chance with this shit. Hell no. I don't like him. I don't I don't like him, bro. Nope. Bro, they didn't they didn't piss their pants there, right? This is all their tears and snot coming down. Look at the amount of pool of fucking liquid around them. I swear to god, if these fucking idiots try to kill us again. We better be staying here free of charge now. Fuck you. Oh, 
These are metaphorical locks, right? <laughs> just edgy motherfucker, we're just trying to find a bunch of chunies to convince them to be assassins. True. Lele seeing Chunibyo with such a straight face is hilarious. おれたちみんな顔バレして床を転げ回っていたおかげで。誰が顔を見られていない人材がいる。あ。まぶしかった。当時のクロージュアイズ。何が。What <笑> No, she was outside taking all the hits for Itami. Lele hype, Lele killed the fire dragon. Interesting. Something fishy. Hold up. It's all calculated. This has to be Tude and the rat dude because they it's in their best interest. Zosa also wanted to summon Lele over, right? This has to be Empire stuff. What? You tell me, man. Skill issue. Y'all are fucking weak. Okay, Gimlet's dead. That piece of shit's dead. Okay. Your head's next. Oh, Pina. <laughs> Beef eaters actions. Still the best name in this show. The Capital Defense Force is being summoned. Oh, 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 oh. The idiot trio, I think. I don't like this. Uh oh. Now, Pina's gonna get in trouble because the beef eater and Boas' actions right here is the idea. Ah, shit. We're getting summoned. Imperial army? Zolzal's army? Shady's still watching. We need some ex external help. We can't take him down like this. Cap, cap. I think he's lying. Kigachapino. なに、すぐに自由にしてやるさ。でもってくださいと言っているでしょう。持つはずがない。すでに今この時だって戦って。それについては可能さんの責任です。後半の人たちの保護の依頼を受けない。切り抜いをするのも俺たちの仕事だろ
<laughs> and then he makes them into assassins. And we got to do, you know, Lele's dissertation right now. And there's also, you know, um, fake reporters telling that Lele killed a fire dragon just conveniently right now to do what exactly? Because they want like a, a hero from the Empire side to be heralded as, uh, you know, part of the Empire side, right? So Zolzal probably involved in this. Some of the other stuff that's going on is basically the politics between how SDF can't intervene due to election, how criticism from different nations, blah, blah, blah. But at the very end, we kind of just like gave in, right? We're like, nope, we gotta fuck the election. We're gonna lose it but I might as well do something I believe is right in my heart. So SDF, the green people are going in. So we're going to get more fucking power fantasy of just then going brrr, and then the Empire side is going down. I cannot wait for Prince Zolzal and Tude and all of them to just fucking just shit the bed. Tude just sucks now. I mean, she's always kind of sucked, right? I thought that she was a victim and she is a victim, but like yeah, she can go fuck herself still. Both of these fucking clowns can all fucking die. I just, I just hope it gets resolved in season one, but I just don't think that season, sorry, this is season two right now. I just like with the amount of episodes we have left, can we really res like can we really resolve the current situation in the empire? I mean with the green people going in, we have four episodes left. Maybe we can just do that, but it feels like to me that we're gonna get one hell of a cliffhanger by the end of the season, and then future season will cover that content. But that's it for me. If you're still here. If you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for some more content, and until next time, take care.